Sutamani here. Hi, Sutamani. <laughs> How are you today? Hope you're fighting fit. <laughs> um, I've just made a little slide here to um, talk about my mistakes that I've made over the five years I've been doing business from home. The first year it was uh, traditional home business and then the next four I've been online. <clears throat> and I just wanted to, to show you a few of the mistakes I made and hope that you won't fall into those same traps. So here we go. Start the screen share, here we go. The best online business and my biggest mistake. What? Only one? I hear you ask. <laughs> well, I joined my first MLM business in 2008 after receiving a video selling it from my brother. I joined without even talking to him. The video was that good. I then, oh, and by the way, it cost $500 to join. So it wasn't a cheap business. I then worked that business like a dervish for eight, nine months. I made some money and uh, developed a small downline of about 300 people. And then, well, to be honest, I became bored with the marketing methods we were trained in. Every meeting taught the same method, approach people one-on-one, -on -one, sort, red, green or brown apples, discard the brown ones, lol, <laughs> three-way phone calls, endless meetings, travel to hotels for meetings, travel to um, grand meetings in Sydney, you know, spending lots and lots of money, more than I was earning. It's an excellent business and probably if I'd stayed with it, over five years, I might be working, making some good money with it. It's one of the fastest growing businesses worldwide, ACN. Very reputable and entirely above board, but it just wasn't for me. Well, not at that stage anyway. So what did I do? Well, having been online since the inception of the internet, buying my first business computer in 1982, I thought there must be a better way online to reach more people quickly and effectively. So I went looking. Oh, boy. What a trap for young players. There are some real sharks out there and I was badly bitten by two of them. TVI Express was the first one. I lost over $10,000 in that scam over just under a year. Luckily, along the way, I also joined a couple of really good online businesses and I learned a lot. But I still didn't have the complete picture. I was still using one-on-one -on -one methods to show people my business. My mind wasn't really clear on what I needed to do get my own website. One business I joined in 2009, shortly after it started, MLSP, it was called MLM Lead System Pro back then, it taught me about the importance of branding myself, getting my own website, setting up my own funnel, selling products and using the many varied methods available online. So I did that. I got my own website, spent hours and hours and hours on it, spent more hours and hours and hours setting up my funnel, struggled with absolutely all of it. Capture pages, design, HTML, WordPress, etc, etc. Some of it I can't even remember what it's called. I was trying to remember it while I was making this and I couldn't think of the names. I struggled so hard with it. All the techie stuff. Where is it? That beautiful website. Well, I'd spent so long on it and it suddenly disappeared. It was hacked. Oh, take a deep breath. No problem. Do it all again. Despite losing months of work, I was too green to keep a backup. No problem. New website, new hosting business I was marketing. Very successfully, making money. Got a big downline in that one. Oh, shit. After over nine months, that business suddenly crashed, taking my new website with it, plus all my downline I'd worked so hard for. I was totally dispirited. I had a business partner then and he'd been online much longer than me so he just swore a lot and carried on. <laughs> well, wrong turn. I took another wrong turn and decided to go with an investment business that just paid out money for one ad placement a day. I thought, oh, this has got to be safer than trying to do your own website. Zeke rewards. I had resisted for a long time, lots of people pestering me to join, but was swayed by the longevity of the three-part company. Very, very clever. Choosing to pretend that one ad a day was enough to pay me 2% daily. What an idiot. Serve me right. Well, I didn't lose any money because I realised about three months before it went under what a Ponzi it was. I told all my downline to get out, but they wouldn't believe me. What an idiot. How could I have fallen for the three-card trick again? I felt just awful for those I'd brought in. Okay, so what's my point? 
What I had learned in a few of those businesses was the need to grab my own piece of online land, set up my tent and lay honeypots all around it. I also needed to work on myself, learn more and not be so stupid. What's my biggest lesson? Online marketing is really so simple. Just think of the lemonade stand Lydia Brown had as a child. Get your product, tell the thirsty people about it and sell it. Now, I had two choices, use someone else's product or make my own. I found it. What product do all online marketers need? Training and a simple way to get that training into their inboxes. How did David Wood initially make his money online? Blogging. I had two blogs fail on me, so I was absolutely excited when I found the Empower blog. So now, instead of spending 80% of my time on techie stuff, worrying about HTML, hosting, design, ranking, etc., I can spend instead more than 80% of my time on marketing. Simple! And all the training for both online and offline marketing are inside my business. Phew! After five years, I finally know what I'm doing and where I'm going. Want to come with me? Check out my blog, sutamaniblog.com.